What's up, guys? I'm Sports Huddle, and welcome to Is He Any Good, episode 10. You out, all I wanna. Well, 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 we're in double digits now. Welcome to Is He Any Good, episode 10, and the player I'm going to be doing today will be Dwight Smith Jr. Shout out to Grinding for Personal Day for suggesting this video. He's been suggesting this video to me for a few weeks now, and I thought, you know what? I have to make it. It's a good suggestion. And if you guys have any suggestions for me, let me know down in the comments. I post one Is He Any Good video every two weeks, so you have 14 days to let me know in the comments for any suggestions. But without further ado, let's get into it. But also, make sure to subscribe to me, turn on the notifications. We're so close to 170 subs, but now let's really get into it. So if you don't know who Dwight Smith Jr. is, he's an outfielder who plays on the Baltimore Orioles, and he's been doing pretty good this year. If you want to know how he's doing, he has a 249 average with 11 home runs and 41 RBIs. So I'd say he's right now being a top hit on the Orioles, but the Orioles have not been having a good year this year, and it's not really going to look like they're going to be good for a few few years just like about three four years because currently right now if you want to know what their record is I'm all I'm going to tell you is that it's the worst record in baseball they are currently 19 and 44 last in their division and they have they're on a three game losing streak it's not been good at all for Baltimore they have had a rough start to the season and it does not look like it's going to be ending well but Dwight Smith Jr. is a guy that can help them out in the future First things first, let's go through his bio, basically. First of all, Dwight Smith Jr. was drafted by the Toronto Blue Jays in 2011, and if you want to know how we did in the minor leagues, let me tell you. First of all, I mean, Dwight Smith Jr. is a guy who doesn't have that much power, but also doesn't have, like, he has has pretty good power. His best year was probably in 2016, where he had a 265 average with 15 home runs and 74 RBIs. But with average, it was 2014 when he had a 284 average with 12 home runs and 60 RBIs. So, I think Dwight Smith Jr. right now, when you look at him, is a guy, well, in the minor leagues, when you look at him, is a guy who, hey, he has a pretty good batting average, and hey, he can hit a good amount of home runs, and he can get a good amount of RBIs. I think he can be a great starter in the future, and right now, today, He's showing who he really is. Now, when he was on the Toronto Blue Jays, he didn't really play that much. In 2017, he only played 12 games, and in 2018, only 35. In 2017, though, he had a 370 average with no home runs in an RBI, and 2018, he had a 262 average, two home runs in eight RBIs. So, he's been pretty good. Right now, with the Orioles, his average is low, but I think right now, in the fu- I think in the future that... I think in the future, Dwight Smith Jr. can be a pretty good hitter. And also, he's six foot tall and he's a 210 pounder. Normally, players who are only like six foot tall or six foot one and are over 200 pounds, I mean, doesn't mean they're power hitters, but it means they're big, which leads to power, basically. Now, Smith is also only 26 years old, so he has a good amount of time left in his career. And. If he's going to be playing with the Orioles for the rest of his career, I think at least a few times, I think at least he's going to be, well, let me just say this. I think that if he's going to play with the Orioles for the rest of his career, he is definitely going to have some good stats. Because right now, it's just the beginning. This is only his third year in the major league. So he's got a long way to go. And starting off like this, having a 249 average with 11 home runs compared to your two other seasons, that's already a... Big upgrade. So right now, I think that Dwight Smith Jr., you're going to see maybe not the best of him, but you're going to see stuff of him that you're going to be seeing more in the future. He has struck it out 50 times, but forget that. I think that, well, actually, don't forget that. I think he should fix that because that's maybe one of the reasons why his average isn't high. But I think that Let's let's go through like other players that are on the Orioles. For example, there's Pedro Severino who hit three home runs the other night, which was amazing. There's Renato Nunez who I think has great potential. He has 15 home runs this year. Whoa, but his average is low. There's Trey Mancini who, 
hey, he didn't have the best year last year, but the year before that, he was really good, and this year, back to being really good. Then there's Jonathan VR. He's starting to get a bit old. Chris Davis, just get him out of here. No offense. Um, but, yeah. So the And then there's Cedric Mullins, who's also a guy who, when you look at him, I think he'll be a great leadoff hitter in the future, even though he has a 0.94 average. So, in conclusion, basically, let me just say that Dwight Smith Jr., he could help out the Orioles a lot if he stays on them. And right now, if I had to say something, let me just say, when Dwight Smith Jr. becomes a free agent in the future, I think he should go on a team that, I don't think he should be a bench player, first of all. I think in the future, he needs to be a starter. Because right now, when you look at him, like I've said a, a lot of times about him, he's a guy who is third in team leaders in home runs. And he's not one of those players who... He's not on one of those teams where they have only one player who has a lot of home runs and all the other players have, like, four or five home runs. He is third with 11 home runs. So that means that the two other players must have a good amount of home runs, too. But anyways, guys, in conclusion, I think that Dwight Smith Jr. is good, and he will be good in the future. And I have a feeling that if he can stay on the Baltimore Orioles, the Orioles are going to have a great they're going to have a pretty good outfield in the future. Already with Austin Hayes, that would be great. Trey Mancini, that will also really be good. So really, the outfield in the future could be Trey Mancini, or there's also Cedric Mullins, but I think the outfield right now could be in the future. Trey Mancini, Austin Hayes, and Dwight Smith Jr. That's a pretty good outfield, if you're asking me. What do you guys think? Do you think Dwight Smith Jr. is any good? That is going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time. I'm out.